we are really fortunate with this first project to be able to have real design documents. So Micah Bauer from the visual art department has prepared these documents, these design documents for a web page. And now we get the opportunity to see what that looks like. One of the things that he has done for us is to set up, uh, make them available, make all the documents available in Zeppelin. So Zeppelin is a professional program that <clears throat> people use to be able to share projects, to work together on projects. And you will receive an email that invites you to be part of that project. It will look something like this email. Uh, once you get that email, then you will be able to open up and um, create a brand new login screen, right? You get to sign up for free so that you can log on. You just go to zeppelin.io or follow the links in the email. And then once you get your account set up and logged on, you will have access to this one project. And you click on the project and it opens up. And there currently are three different documents in this project. So the first, pro the first document is a home page. It's taken a while here to load up is the home page and so you can open up that and see what that initial page looks like. There's lots of details we get to see here in the Zeppelin. So you see it looks very similar to the document that the PDF document that we've got. So it looks like it's the same but it has this really cool feature that you can click on parts and it tells you lots about it. So we click on this word services it tells us what the font family is, what the size is. That would be the size of the font would be 48 pixels. Uh, it would tell us that the color, uh, what the color is, uh, and lots of details about it. Also notice that up here, you can, as you move things around, you can see the distance from the top and the distance from the sides. When you go to images, uh, you get to have Again, it tells you the height and the width of the images, tells you <clears throat> the different colors that you have. Uh, Drop-in services, here's an image. It allows you to download the image files. So here, we've already downloaded them, put them in an asset folder for you, so you already have that. But it tells you lots of information and makes this information readily available. Another thing that you might really appreciate is it, it applies, supplies the content. So you won't have to type any of the any of the content. You can just simply copy it and paste it in your document. So all of the typing is done for you. Now notice that it also supplies CSS for you. Uh, you don't want to straight up use this directly because it it has a lot of things that you don't need and and sometimes the things that they have are not quite right. So I wouldn't trust the, the CSS. Um, sometimes it's okay to copy paste a rule or two that you're pretty confident will work, but I'd be very careful about using it with very much detail. Uh, again, it shows you the size, you can get the colors of all the different dimensions. It's a very cool tool and it provides you a great deal of information. This is a great tool to get to know and use and will help you a great deal in trying to figure out all the different things that you're going to need to know to be able to convert this design document into an actual web page.